closer to the Twin Ports, a TV movie wrapped up filming in Duluth this weekend. Northern News Now's Jack Wiedner explains how the production is part of a larger effort to build a film industry in the Northland. For many extras on the set of Her Deadly Letter, the film will be their first acting credit. Yeah, this is my first one. First film, yeah. The set, however, is familiar to many. I go here. I'm going to be a junior next year. Yeah. Denfeld High serves as the backdrop for many scenes in the made-for-TV thriller. Back in May, the production company put out a casting call. I heard about this film through Instagram. I learned about it through my theater director. For now, their IMDb pages may simply read extra, but many see the movie as their chance to get into a famously cutthroat industry. I hope to just step my foot in the door to more film opportunities. I've always wanted to work on a set as well, so I would just love to keep being behind the scenes on projects. For some, that next project might come sooner than they expect. Yeah, they are here to be extras, but I can see some peaking interest in different departments, and they're almost old enough to start PAing on sets, too. As a producer, Keely Kemp is well-versed in the business side of things. She says that the influx of productions coming to the Twin Ports is no accident. Duluth is quite a hot spot in the entire country for TV and film, um, and that's all due to the incentives. The city of Duluth, St. Louis County, and the state of Minnesota all offer certain financial incentives to lure projects to the region. In return... You know, it's this economic development. It really uh, infuses money into the economy. Minnesota's film industry has ebbed and flowed throughout the years. In the 90s, films like Grumpy Old Men and Fargo shot in the land of 10,000 lakes thanks to a budding incentive program. In recent years, the Northland's film industry has been outshined by better deals in other regions. But a new series of incentives is beginning to change that, and people are taking note. Yes, I definitely seen Duluth growing, like more as like for film. It brings excitement really to the town, and I can see a lot more projects coming in. In Duluth, Jack Wiedner, Northern News Now. And with the movie wrapped, producers plan to pitch the film to TV networks in the near future.